broadcasting from Wilson Area High School. This is the Warrior News, your place to keep up to date with the latest. Live at 7.44 a.m., the Warrior News starts right now. Good morning, Wilson. Hope everybody is enjoying the start to what is hopefully a five-day week. Uh, <laughs> anywho, it is Monday, January 8th. I'm Michael Jablonski, and because I'm the only one here. But uh, to start, I probably should have just the elephant in the room, which was um, on Wednesday I did say that not to expect a delay in regards to the upcoming storm. And to that extent, I was technically correct in that we didn't have a delay. We just had a double cancellation. Um, but I do want to apologize to the school because here at Wilson, I believe that you guys all deserve the best, and I did not give my best in regards to that weather forecast. So I do apologize for that. Uh, having said that, we will have weather tomorrow. But in any case, let's go to the announcements. Uh, there will be an international club meeting after school today. All members should attend. Uh, for those of you wondering what happened to club photos, since those were supposed to be on Friday, those have now been moved to this Friday at still the same times for whatever clubs you have. And in sports news, uh, we want to congratulate the Wilson cheerleading squad because they did win at districts on Saturday. So they're now going to move on to the state championship, which will be in about two weeks. But congratulations to the cheerleading squad. I do also want to give a shout out to Wilson Wrestling, who had an entertaining match against Easton this past Friday. Uh, while some wrestlers got individual wins, such as our Warrior News' own John Consorti, uh, the overall team lost 42-24. But regardless, the fact that it take it took nine matches for our wrestling team to get a loss is really a testament to how well this squad has been playing all season. So good job to Wilson Wrestling. And also I want to congratulate Wilson Field Hockey, which I know it might seem odd since they're a fall sport, but their coach, Coach Horton, was named a co-coach of the year by the morning call. So congratulations to the field hockey team for that. But that is it for today. Don't really have much to say because we haven't really been here to do anything. But we will have more for you, for you throughout the week. But that is it for today's broadcast. I'm Michael Jablonski. Everybody, enjoy your day and stay classy as always. Start spreading the news.